As our city continues to search for solutions to violent crime, four groups are coming together aiming to curb violence, and they're doing that through soccer. What do next news anchor Brian Magic tells us about this festival? You may be looking at a future soccer star. One of the players is 13-year-old Abdullah Islo. Well, I could play mid. I could play every position. The 13-year-old has been playing soccer for four years. He's with Ryukul Soccer Academy and says he's learned how to do more than kick a ball. They teach me a lot of things, like skill moves, like communication with the team. Important skills that go beyond sports. Having a clear vision of, of how to occupy your time and sport happens to be a very unique way to help um, bring people together and socialize even if there's other problems that could be developing within their society. In Kansas City, one of the problems is violent crime. There's over 70 homicides in the city. Now a group is working to steer these young people away from violence. I had this idea of like, hey, let's do an all community type event together. And he's like, yeah, I've been thinking about that too. KCPD teamed up with the Soccer Academy, a sports club and a neighborhood coffee house to organize a soccer festival here at Prospect Plaza Park on Saturday. You know, we're on the same page. We work here, we live here, we eat here. You know, we, we're all in this together in, in one way or another. On this soccer court, you'll find people from different backgrounds, cultures, even different ages, all together. And organizers tell me that's the point. The focus is on unity. Soccer is all inclusive. You don't need too much to play the game. Um, and I also think that soccer is a universal language. A universal language focused on bringing a positive change in Kansas City. Reporting, I'm Bryant Madrick, 41 Action News.